After many months of being exclusive to private preview customers only, Microsoft has officially launched its new Loop app and website in public preview today. This app has been available in private beta since last year, and it lets teams collaborate in real time using Loop components, pages, and workspaces. Anyone with a Microsoft account can now enjoy sharing and working on content from Microsoft services in a single workspace hub without worrying about jumping between multiple apps and cutting down on their collaboration speed. Basically, with Loop, you get a single real-time collaboration experience to import tasks, documents, and other projects with your coworkers, with suggestions for projects you're working on and other Microsoft services. Microsoft says it's designed to bridge the gaps of working in virtual teams, gaps that became increasingly apparent during the pandemic when Loop was developed. Loop components were already available in apps like Microsoft Teams, the Word web app, Microsoft Whiteboard, and Outlook for Windows. Loop components can take various forms such as paragraphs, tables, or bullet lists that support co-authoring. These components can also be shared across Microsoft 365 apps. With Loop, Microsoft created a new web and mobile app that can serve as a flexible canvas where teammates can collaborate in real time. The app can be used for brainstorming and managing projects, and it can be seen as an alternative to Notion, a popular note-taking app that evolved into an all-in-one workspace. Wangi McKelvey, General Manager of Apps and Endpoints at Microsoft, says, At its core, Microsoft Loop is about people. People who want to create together with ease, no matter where they are or what tools they use. It's a transformative co-creation experience that brings together teams, content, and tasks across your tools and devices. To get started with Loop, users will need to first create a workspace and then use templates to create different pages. Up to 50 people can work on a workspace and you can even email and share your Loop page with changes saved as you share it. It might be useful for situations where you'll want to see different document types side by side. Any content on a Loop page can be turned into a Loop component, which can then be shared across Microsoft Teams, Outlook, Microsoft Whiteboard, and Word on the web. It also supports notifications for mentions, assigned tasks, and replies. Loop also has some AI-powered capabilities with the integration of the Microsoft 365 Copilot. Copilot in Loop gives you AI-powered suggestions to help transform the way you create and collaborate. It guides you with prompts like create, brainstorm, blueprint, and describe. Summarization capabilities for Loop pages and documents linked in a workspace are also coming in the next few months. Loop is available starting today on the web, iOS, and Android. On mobile, using a work account is currently required, but support for personal accounts is coming soon. For IT admins, Microsoft also provided instructions for enabling Microsoft Loop for their organization. Let me know in the comments if you've used Loop or plan to use Loop in the near future, and if you've used it, what you think about it.